Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how to get started with assignment 1. So the first thing you should do is to head over to Blackboard, to the uh, course, and uh, here in the left you'll see a tab called Assignments. So if you enter in there, you'll find a folder for assignment 1, so you should click on the name. And the first thing you should do is to download these two files. There is a Python file and there is a Word document file. So let's go ahead and do that. So this might be a bit different depending on the browser you're using. This is how it looks in uh, Firefox. So here in Documents, I've made a folder for our course and for this assignment. So I'm going to save it there. And the same thing for the specification. And now let's find it on the computer. So the first thing you should do with these files is first open the Word document. And you should read it really carefully, because this is where we explain everything you have to do. So at the beginning we give you the instructions, uh, which is more or less what I'm going to show you in the video, but it's still, uh, you should have a, a careful read at it. And then in the second part uh, is the content, okay? So what you actually have to do. So what's uh, important for, the, um, for this video here is the naming convention. So at the beginning, it tells you that you will have to submit a Python file. So that's uh, some text with uh, .py extension. And it should be py underscore and then your student number. Okay, so I'm gonna copy that. Obviously, you should replace that by your actual student number. And you should rename this file, assignment one student, by this convention. So this is how it should be named in my case. And now this is a file you can open uh, in Spider. So let's find it in Spider. There it is. And this is a template uh, of how your assignment should be. So actually, if you run it, you'll see this code runs, okay? And it says that uh, for a salary of 40,000, the income tax you have to uh, pay is zero pounds and tax band is zero. Uh, obviously, uh, this runs with no errors, but this is not correct. Um, so you should go and fix that. So there is a lot of uh, comments in the file uh, to help you go through it. And what's important is that you should keep the structure that we give you in here. So you can create new functions if you want, but you should keep um, the main function, which is where you define a salary. Then it gets a band from a tax band function. So this should give a correct result. So band should be uh, what is supposed to, and what is supposed to, this is something you can find in the uh, Word document here uh, from this table. And then you have a function which is calculate tax based on this on the salary and the band uh, you just found out. And this should uh, give you how much tax you have to pay. And that should be also uh, correct. This also should give a correct result. Um, then you have the display re results function, which is a uh, actually what it's used to print this here on the screen. So you don't really have to do anything about it, so you can just leave it like that. The next function is the tax band. Um, so this should get the salary and return what band it, it is. Again, based on this table. So if the salary is here, it should be band 1, uh, here, band 2, and, and so on and so forth. And uh, obviously you will have to remove this band equals zero. Okay, there is no band zero. And uh, you have here the space uh, where you should put your code to choose the correct band. 
and this you should keep at the end, you should still return the band. The calculate tax function, again, it's the same thing here. Just to make it run, really, we put that tax is equal to zero. Obviously, you will have to remove this and replace it by something a bit more complicated. But at the end, you should return the tax as well. And how you calculate the tax? This is given in the Word document. So with these formulas here, okay, you should uh, read that and implement that in Python. And then, as I said, the display results function will just print what uh, your code found out in the function, so you don't have to worry about this. So you just have to remove this, calculate the tax, remove this, uh, sorry, calculate the band and remove this and calculate the tax. Now, um, how do you know if your code is correct? Well, so here we are saying the salary is 40,000 and here you have uh, some test cases. So the first one, 40,000, the expected answers are band is three and the tax is 8,276. Here, when we run it, we see that uh, the tax is zero and the tax band is zero. So this code, you know, it's wrong. There is also another example in a different band, which is uh, 1,000 pounds. So the band should be one and the tax should be 100. So how do you test that? Well, you just come here, change the salary, put a thousand, you run it and then you see that the answer is a bit different now. It's, uh, it says the salary changed, but it's still because the code is not doing nothing, this is still wrong. Uh, this is zero and zero. So you should definitely test these two cases. You should get these two answers, but um, you, you don't have to stop there actually you should go to the word see the the all possible bands you can get uh, see how the formula works so you should try and test a, a good range of sa different salaries across the different bands and check that your results are being correct and they are being consistent once you are happy with uh, your submission uh, you should save it uh, this case we didn't change anything, so it's the same. And uh, you're changing this file here. And this is the file you have to submit. So to do that, you will head to Blackboard again, find your assignment. Now what you do is you click on the title. And this new tab will open. And here you say you want to attach a file. So you browse your computer, go to documents, in my case, uh, assignment one, and this is the Python file. This is all you have to submit. Then you click submit here in this corner and then uh, you are done. So I hope this uh, was helpful for you to uh, write your assignments and uh, good luck.